thinking you're the best listener I've done had in years. Heck, you devoured up all my stories like most folks lap up a stew. Whoa, hey, get away from my stew! Oh, it's you. What? No, of course not. Never seen you before in my life. I just figure you're you. You know? And I'm me, and that's... That's where we are. So, what can old Mudtooth do for you, huh? Questions? Ho-ho! <laughs> I reckon I've got a few answers. Quite a bit, stranger. The name's Mudtooth. And ain't nobody been around longer or seen more than I have. Except maybe old Ford, of course. But that old mudder cheats. Anyway, he hardly tells any of his stories. Only three reasons why folks come to see me. And that's my stories or my stew. Yeah. So, youngin', what'll it be? That so? Huh. Did I tell you about the stories yet? That one too, eh? <laughs> well, that's it, ain't it? My stories and my stew. Listen, you sure I said there were three reasons? Cause there's only two, and that's certain. Huh. Only two reasons folks come to see old Mudtooth, and you know both of them. I'm pretty sure your memory's slipping. You bet your apple I can. But these ain't just stories, stranger. They're objective retellings of legitimate occurrences, what you wouldn't believe. Now, where to start? What you need? Well, shoot, Traveler. I might have some answers for you. I reckon you're the best listener I've done had in years. Heck, you devoured up all my stories like most folks lap up a stew. Uh, I do believe I'm all out of stories. But tell you what, there's a bit of a, a constellation prize. Take this. I'm guessing that'll be a mite bit more useful to you than it is to me. Tell you what, I might be out of stories, but I ain't out of stew. <laughs> so long as you head back then, eh? See you, traveler. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Till next time.